Hello friends, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel Electrical Exclusive. In this class we shall study XOR gate which is also known as exclusive OR gate. This is the schematic diagram of the XOR gate which has two inputs X, Y. On the other side this is the output terminal Z. These input terminals either receive logical 1 which is high input or logical 0 which is low input. The Boolean expression for the XOR gate is X XOR Y whereas X and Y are the two inputs. If you re-simplify this expression that would be X XOR Y is equal to X into Y bar plus X bar into Y. There is also another mathematical expression for the XOR function that is X XOR Y is equal to X plus Y into X bar plus Y bar. These are the mathematical representation of the XOR function. And we know each logic gate has a specific truth table which displays different combination of inputs along with the respective output. So let's find out the truth table for the XOR gate. So friends, this is the main funda of the XOR gate. So to get the output low that is 0, we need to set both the inputs are identical. On the left hand column we shall register the inputs X and Y. On the right hand side we shall remark the output. Now come to the first case, AX is 0, Y is 0. You can see both the inputs are identical and that's why the output is low which is 0. If x is 1, y is 0, both the inputs are not identical, that's why the output will be high, that is 1. If x is 0 and y is 1, in this case also, both the inputs are not identical, that's why the output will be high, which is 1. And if both the inputs are 1, I have told you for the identical inputs the output is always 0. So this is all about the XOR gate. Now let's go to the simulator to see the working model of the XOR gate. This is the XOR gate. I need two logic sources to supply the XOR gate. Now I need to connect LED to see the output response. Again, I need to connect a current limiting resistor whose resistance is 150 ohm. So let's see. At this moment, both the logic sources are at zero state. That means both the inputs are identical. Hence, the output is zero and the LED is not glowing. If I flip the first logic source to state one, Both the inputs are not identical and that's why we get the output 1. Hence the LED that we have connected on the output side is glowing. Again if I flip the first logic source to state 0 and the second to state 1. Let's see. At this moment both the inputs are not identical and that's why the output is 1. Hence the LED is glowing. To verify the final case, we need to flip both the logic sources to state 1. Both the inputs are identical and that's why the output is not available that is 0. So friends, with this experiment we have proved the truth table for the XOR gate. For more electrical videos, please stay in touch with us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Electrical Exclusive.